Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Well, Christmas is over. I'm so glad. I don't think I'm the only one that feels like that either. I think everybody around here feels that way. Oh, so now we're on to almost a new year. We're almost to the end of litters for this year, and it'll be so nice to have a, we're going to have a pretty long break. Um, we have nobody that's bred right now, and we do have a girl that's in heat that my girlfriend, um, she decided not to raise schnauzers anymore, so we have a really pretty black and white tri schnauzer female that's in heat that we're going to breed, but that's it. Nobody else is in heat, so we're looking at least three months before anybody's on the ground, so it's like, yay, we have a break. We don't usually get a break in the spring, so uh, it'll be a busy summer, but it'll be a good spring. So today we're downstairs. We're going to get back on schedule now that the holiday's over, and we're down here with Fiona's kids. And I promise, today there's going to be pictures taken, and they're going to get individual photos on. Uh, their eyes are open. I think everybody's open, aren't they? Um, I don't know about the little guy yet. I haven't checked his eyeballs. And do I have blue eyes in here? Eh, we're going to check today and see. Uh, and I don't know, two weeks and, what are we, two weeks? We just said this, two weeks and two days? One day. One day, two weeks and one day. Um, I don't know that we can really tell 100%, but we'll give it a good shot. I know that there are people in this litter that are looking for blue eyes. Um, since Fiona has a blue eyes, there's a real good possibility of blue eyes. But um, where are we going? They're moving. They're on the move. We won't know for, I don't know if we'll know right away or not, but we're going to look at them. So, four little girls in this litter and one little guy. The little guy is going to stay here for a while till we know. I really want to keep a really small one. And um, do I want a bloomer on? <sighs> I would rather have a solid color or a party color, but they're hard to get the little tiny males. And this little squirt may stay tiny out of his ancestors that are behind him. So... We're going to do microchip numbers. We're going to do weights. Uh, I know. Here you come. I know. You're doing the army curl. I know. You're all army curl. Are you army curling too? Uh, they're going to get their toenails trimmed when we get back upstairs because they have little daggers. I mean, you can almost hang them from their toenails, and they were just done last week. They grow so fast when they're this age. All right. We're going to start down here with the party female. This one is a salt and pepper. Don't think she's going to stay black because she's not. You can really see this head is changing. You can really see, see that. If I get a hold of you different. Look at the gray on these hips. And she's got gray under this side. This is going to be a salt and pepper party female. And I don't, you don't have blue eyes. No, you don't have blue eyes. I don't know. Did you look at these eyes? What'd you think? Did you think iffy too? Oh. They don't have the normal Fiona eye where it's got the blue ring and the pupil in the center. And they, these are like baby pupils. So, I don't know. I'm going to say not only because she's two and a half weeks old. Um, about another two weeks and we'll know. But right now, I couldn't tell you. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's just the light from reflecting off of her pupils. One pound, 4.2 ounces. You're a porker. You're a little porker. Are you a porker? I know. I don't know. So tough. Oh, I got microchip number. Huh, it's the first day after the holidays. I'm not really. All right. We are 8837 is her microchip number. She's really getting, really getting salt and peppery. Okay, Missy, this one is another salt and pepper. Turn here, smash in there. I know, I gotta get a hold of you different. There we go. You have the same, I don't think she does. I think she's black eyed, don't you? I think she is black eyed, so Vanessa's shaking her head. Um, do her eyes look a little more blue than this eyes? Yes, they do, but they're not what I normally see out of the blue eyes from my blue-eyed dogs. I would say no. Let's say no at this point. We'll see in another week or so. They're not open very far, and that makes it harder. She is one pound, 4.2. She says, I'm coming out. Let me get your microchip number. 
Yeah, you gotta go upstairs and get your toenails trimmed. 88.37, no, 88.38, sorry. What do you think? She says, what are you bugging me for? I think they're, I don't think she's gonna have blue eyes. Oh, I gotta weigh this little squirt. I gotta see what he weighs. Come here, squirt. Do you not have your eyes open yet? You don't. Your eyes aren't open. I see cracks in there. And I see cracks in there. No eyes open. So this little guy is, wow, a whole 9.4. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. All right, so let's do this. We're going over here. This is a Blue Merle female. 88, 39. Oh, here you come. Yeah, 88. I know. You got, I love this. They do their legs out the back at this age. What do you got? You got blue eyes? Can't tell. Don't think so. I don't think so. I just can't tell at this age. It really is tough. I know everybody's dying to know, but I can't find a thing in there. 88, 39. And I love the color. She has a massive, a lot of color. See a massive amount of color under here. She's so pretty. So pretty. I know you guys are coming right to me. She's one pound 3.0. Okay, you've all stretched. You feel like you feel like <coughs> can't you just lay over here? I know here you come. I don't want you. I want you to lay right there. Alright, this is the blue Merle Party female. She's the littlest. 88.36, let me see your peepers. Vanessa thinks you're blue. She's got the same eyeballs as the other ones. I don't know that you're blue. I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's, they're so tiny at this age. She looks like she might have that blue ring with a circle, but I can't tell. Too early, I wish I could tell you guys, but I can't. I can't, I don't want to give you false hope. Okay, down you go. Okay, can you put your feet? Can you put your feet down? There you go. Fifteen point two ounces. All right. So, I'm sorry I can't give you the details you're really wanting to know today, but it's just too it's just too early. Um, I just there's no way. Probably I'm guessing by by four weeks we'll know. Um, there's just no way we're two weeks. We're just two weeks too early. Um, so. And there is a very good chance we'll have blue eyes because of their mother. And their grandmother has blue eyes. And Fiona's sister has blue eyes. So, we'll see. We'll see. So, for today, I hope you have enjoyed seeing them. They're really, really, really doing well. They're nice babies. She is a phenomenal first-time mom. Um, she has just done a great job with these guys. And... Uh, if you have any questions about them, you're more than welcome to give me a call. I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, get their waiting list uh, listed on there of people that have called in and asked about them. And uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. Uh, you know, if blue eyes don't make any difference to you, you're welcome to pick if you're the first pick or second pick. Um, if the first person on that list wants blue eyes, you're, you're kind of all of the crick, then i got to wait. So... If you don't mind waiting, we'll just hang out till that four week video and we'll see what we've got as far as eye color and then we can go from there and the picks can start then. Unless, you know, I only know of one person right now that wants blue eyes. So I don't know how many are above that person on the, the waiting list, but I will try and get the waiting list together, get it on the website and that way you'll be able to see it and know where you fall on the list. So. Have a great day. Call me with any questions you might have. Um, and especially right now, um, I really am not gonna have much chance to get on the internet. Um, I am helping to bottle feed five puppies, which that's an every two and a half to three hour job. So um, yeah, my time right now is pathetically short. So text me or call me is the only best way to reach me. If you email me, please don't be upset. It might be several days before I even get back to you. So have a good one. And I hope you had a happy holiday. And I know we've got New Year's coming up. So everybody's got to think about their new, new Year's resolution. 
Mine this year is I have determined to read the, read the Bible in one year. That is my new goal. It's my really my New Year's resolution. And uh, I actually bought a chart that tells you how many verses you need to read a day in the chapters. And I'm going to try and do my due diligence. And I want to read through the whole Bible, uh, which I've never been able to get accomplished. So that's my, that's my project, especially since we've got a couple months with no puppies under the skin that we have to take care of. So uh, hopefully you have New Year's resolutions that are good ones. Everybody always wants to lose weight, quit smoking, quit drinking, or whatever. So everybody has their own, um, what's the word I want to use? things they want to accomplish and that's not the word they want to use but have a great day be safe and have a great new year and we'll see you in a week